have to be Milford the player. Rood will have been offside, according to Jared Sutton. Maloney, Ennis, and Townsend. Now Barber come in for a chat. Quite the team meeting. To work out what they're going to do once they tap it and get it. Well, there must be a set piece on here. They've had a little meeting on the right hand side of the field, so look for something creative or special off the back of this from the Cronulla Sharks. Underneath the uprights, Gallon plays it. Ennis comes out to for feeder. He works it forward, gets an offload. Ennis straight to Bakuya. Glenn's got him hanging onto his coattails, and they take him down only a metre out. Ennis again out the back. Maloney, numbers here. Maloney taken down. He gets across the line. Jared Sutton doesn't set up what they wanted to do. Now they've executed it perfectly, and Maloney. Running the football, dummy and go. James Roberts gets caught well in. They had a huge O ball here now. You watch the players on the left hand side move right. They all move to the to the left hand side attack of the Sharks. They've got a massive overlap over there. Half points the Broncos have conceded so far this season. There is Hunt. Well, he's in Gillett's hip pocket. Trying to fool them with a little head shimmy. Goes within about two metres of the line. Last tackle. Now Beal from dummy half. Maloney kicks, chasing through, Townsend! Oh, Townsend tired, is there! This team, a kick again for Townsend. So yeah. often he's the target, not the first try he scored off a kick by an outside back. Brandy, and they can't use that as an excuse. Maloney back on the inside for Barber. He'll pour it on, going to the corner. He beats Munster. That is the X Factor. That's what yeah. we've come to miss from his Bulldog days back in 2012, the Dally M Player of the Year. We've seen bits and pieces of it since, but Maloney, great ball, takes Cameron Smith out of the line, and the inside defence just can't cover the speed of Barber. Shallow restart. Valentine Holmes away to Fafita. Oh, charged into Jeremy Smith. That's who he got away from. Maloney pins he is back. James Maloney. He gets to Uate, who makes a great tackle. Under the pub again. Ennis back inside. And this time he has... Right, Ennis. Ennis to the line. Links up Maloney. They've got number. Bakuya. Head for the try line. And Jason Bakuya. Off the goal line, a few more metres, and then you've got a chance of stopping a big runner, a strong ball runner. Well, he's not the biggest man out there, but he's powerful, Jason Bakuya. And Andrew Fafita, stopped there by Tom Simons and also Cherry Evans. They've got one more play. From on top of the line, Maloney's kick across the field. Plenty of chases underneath it. Matai couldn't catch it. It fell for Luke Lewis. and the Steve, Matai can't handle it, and it... Bounces into the hands of Luke Lewis, who just sat back out of the contest and is able to clean things up. Last tackle. A chance for an attacking kick. They'll put it through the hands. Graham back on the inside. Fafita trying to get it away. Found Maloney. That was clever. Moylan under pressure. Fafita. Away to Maloney. Maloney sends it way to Fecky. And Fecky just walks over. And he's a hat trick hero in Society Fecky. The right hand side now with Whitehead. Cleaned up though, Maloney. Now he'll look for support. Maloney's in the clear. Barber is looming on the infield. Maloney's got Caesar coming. He's looking for Barber. But the run was checked by Williams. He kept in his way. Oh, he thought about has possession, they go short again to Bird, and eventually Valentine Holmes caps off a perfect mistake. The ball is, it's just come out in that play there from the Raiders, hits the ground, Maloney streaks away, just can't position Barber well enough, but, well, it turns out to be a great play. Take the tackle. It ball. This time, Hyington delivered a pass, as Brown go across to the right side, a little more ball movement now, Barber's got it. Goes inside, Townsend turns it around, keeps it going, burn to Holmes, look at what Cronulla can do, they lined up the score, and it'll be Maloney. Well, you watch. Holmes, Bird, nice ball, flat ball, and then Holmes with a perfectly weighted infield grubber kick. Field. Ennis on the last, goes to Maloney, another grubber, another well-weighted kick. 
Another goal line dropout. Well, extraordinary. Their ability to get the the kick and the weight of it right. Chambers playing in the left centre position tonight with the change. Kevin Proctor out of the side. Lewis goes to Maloney. Try saving tackle made by Cry. Working it back for the Sharks. Night descends here on Southern Cross Group Stadium. Townsend shows it. Goes straight through them. Moylan coming across. He found Maloney. Maloney will score. The Sharks hit back. Here we go. Halves combined. Watch the work. Dummy in goes speed. He beats Wallace. He's got two inside. Does he hit Lewis? Does he go to Maloney? He goes to Maloney and he finishes it off. We've got a game on our hands. It's easy. They call him Tagger. The Sharks with Maloney. Peel tips it on. And straight away for Fecky. So Lewis, Bird and Holmes put their hand up. They want the crossfield kick. It's coming across. Lewis leaves up for it. Luke Lewis. Someone there to, to, to tackle. You're going to think about offloading. But he just had to grab it and head for the line. It's a great take, isn't it? A great leap. A mark above his head. Now 15 from the line. And to Maloney. There is Barber. He had support outside. Look at Barber. What a moment to score. Who makes the tackle right there? Maloney, this time along the ground, chasing Wade Graham. And he'll force the Cowboys to... A... The same 17 playing from last year's grand final. But again, this is... The bonus that Cronulla are going to get from the back of Maloney. Beautiful kick there. It's stopped by Lowe. And Granville. Plenty of hair right there. Maloney. A chip kick towards Thurston. And it's taken in goal by Kane Linnett. They'll point under the crossbar. He's out of this play on the last. Ennis goes to Gallon, who links up with Maloney. Puts the kick through. They're chasing the ball. Lost back by... Sione Mataudia and the chase from Fecky and Beal was brilliant. Oh! Mataudia, nice kick there by Maloney and he does have a go. Comes off the hand, he has to try to bring it back into the field of play. No success there, just a day. They fire it across. Oh, there's the intercept. They're not done yet. Here comes Maloney. Fecky's in support. James Maloney being chased by Caesar. He's looking to go all the way. Maloney by Caesar. Maloney scores the try and they'll bail out of here with two very valuable competition points the Sharks. He's had a good afternoon James Maloney with the boot and with the ball. It's a big win isn't it? The Sharks as you predicted. Cronulla in possession inside Barber's got away for another one and offloaded. There is home centre field I love that. Blood really flowing now as Ennis comes out to Maloney. Back on the inside for Barber. Oh, taken Maloney, down by Hannibal Lecter. On time, Holmes. And I've got one more play. From about 30 metres out, Tanzen will put it high in the air. Kahu coming towards it. Won't get that far. Maloney volleys it forward. That was clever. Here is Roberts trying to get it back into the field of play. Gives a ball. Corey Oates got smashed. By that. With the Maloney kick, watch this work for me, that's on purpose, a soccer deflection off his right foot keeps him, Roberts' speed, he beats them all, throws a Time tough on. pass to O2, Hot catches line. it and bang! Head to the sky goes Cogger, Ben Barber, good communication at the back of the field with Fecky, now he gets it to Beal, and Beal hits him open space, he tries to get the palm away, that was on Uate, Maloney got away from the fullback, can't get away from Uate, and eventually stopped by Gagai, who has another crack. Release this! Aaron Woods with his 17th tackle of the afternoon. Ennis to Townsend, across to Maloney, not to be by North Alabama, Latell Maloney has not quite got there. Last tackle, Sharks, long ball across to Maloney. Tries to dab it over the top, the kicks of beauty. And a line dropout. Goal enough to force Jamie Lyon to make a play at it with Chase coming. Look at that. Banana kick back to the inside. Beautiful kick. Finds the space to chase the inside. But they are spread out for this left hand edge. Maloney goes to 
Latelli gets away from Parrot. He draws and punches. Maloney at the back, Barber gets it, gives it to Latelli who dives in to score! Ricky Latelli, level! We'll be thinking about the correction he needs to make this to put the Sharks on top of the ladder. It's on its way, staying straight! win it 20 points to 18 it looked good started to hook grazed the uprights and went over James Maloney what a hero in the tackle Maloney getting in position here tackles up their sleeve they're in great position just there but it was a slow play the ball Paulo Ennis points to Maloney now he wants it says to the referee get out of the way Maloney snaps it! It's good! James Maloney puts the Sharks back in front. Well set up there, Cronulla. You saw Michael Ennis point to James Maloney. Lachlan Coote also saw that coming out of the line. But Maloney, despite that, is able to squeeze it between the posts just inside that right upright. Play continues. The Warriors scrambling here. Lewis turning in the tackle, looking for a support runner. No one. Final play from 10 out. It comes for Chad Townsend. Now James Maloney. Maloney runs, squirts the kick, and squirts the ugliest field goal you've ever seen. Straight over the crossbar. One point. Watch out, Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. to line up a couple of ones and make it sweet. 11 in a row. James Maloney kicks the Sharks to a record 11th straight victory. Oh, he had no right to kick it from there, Maloney. Plenty of work to do. They ran away from him on the last tackle. They did it in 2002.